Здорово, ну что же мы только вот это попал, 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 поболтали тут, поболтали. Я просто недавно встал и такой, о, господи, как тяжко. Так. Why have you approached me? Uh... You will find them in the main irrigation channel room, in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle emitters there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. It is not part of my duties. Free them yourself. Then you must leave this place. Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atrus has given you permission to leave this place, and permission to return if you remain in her service. Um. You may ask. We share the same father. <laughs> And we all bear the face of our mother. It is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. As I have said, it is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. If you seek to raise anger in me, you will fail, Exile. I tolerate your presence only upon orders of the Mistress. She did not order me to endure your questions. One cannot take back an action, and often apologizing for it only compounds the insult. Simply drop the matter and be silent. You may ask... Yeah. Mm, The mistress? What of her? She leads us. As she rebuilds Telos, she rebuilds the Order. And through them, the galaxy. We serve the Jedi. We do not question them. Yet, Atrus has told us that the work here at Telos may pay for similar efforts in many worlds along the rim that were destroyed when the Jedi turned on each other. She has said the Jedi Order needs such a foundation if it is to rebuild. She faults the teaching of many of the Jedi Masters as the spark of the Jedi Civil War. Atrus has said that if Revan and Malak had been properly instructed in the ways of the Jedi, they never would have fallen, and nor would you exile. Так. That is unknown to me. I have never observed Atrus to teach Jedi, nor would I wish to. Atrus has chosen instead to focus her efforts on galactic recovery. Once the galaxy breathes again, disciples will come. Так. 
you may ask. This was once a mighty irrigation center for Telos. It survived the orbital bombardment of the Sith, though the inhabitants did not. Ancient irrigation channels still lie beneath the surface of Telos, waiting to be used again for the reconstruction efforts controlled from this facility. Damn. Shortly before the destruction of Dantooine by the forces of the traitor Jedi Malik, it was had many Jedi artifacts and knowledge transported here secretly. The Jedi Council sensed it, Master Vrook, Master Vandar, but it was too late to do much except make arrangements for evacuation. It was a dark day for the Order. Many on Dantooine did not survive. Jedi or not. Atris would not speak for many days after the attack, and we feared our mistress was lost to us. In time, she regained her voice and her strength. She brought the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi here and has kept them safe. Even the Sith prefer life prey to scavenging a corpse. She thought that a world already savaged by the Sith would not prove a target a second time. It was a place where the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi could be kept safely if the Sith could not be turned aside. Yes, many relics from Dantooine, some which predate even the destruction of Ossus. She was not able to save all, but she saved enough. She was able to bring them here before the Academy's destruction. It was a fortunate thing. She was not able to save everything. Viewing the relics is not allowed without Atris's permission. Of course, I exist to serve the Jedi. Atris speaks of you, but Jedi is not the term she uses. She says you followed Revan to war, the same Revan who took the Mandalorian flame and brought it to the Jedi. You are correct, but there is nothing more important than the battle you choose to fight, and the battle you choose to surrender. You chose to fight the Mandalorians, and in choosing to fight them you also fought the Jedi whether you knew it or not. Only a Cathound turns on its own master. Dead. We did, but not against our teachings or our masters. We fought with them, united. That... that is true. And we would have heeded her, for we would have served her. No, perhaps not. If you are truly a warrior, and not some murderer without discipline. But I do not believe you are weak or a murderer. You show reflection on your actions, but I do not believe you are weak or a murderer. You show reflection on your actions. Perhaps I misjudged you. Perhaps you have changed from the exile Atris described to me. I hope you may show her the same side you have shown me. There is truth in what you say. Yet many such artifacts are sealed away in Atris's chambers. But if you wish to see a few of them, Speak to the last of the handmaidens. She has seen some of these objects and has an interest in such things. Yes, she should be in the training chamber to the north and west of here. 
She constantly seeks to improve herself so that she may no longer be ranked last among us. Because she is easily distracted by matters that do not concern her or her duty. Such distractions weaken her and she knows this. Так. А, служанночка. Так, туда ушла это, да? Раньше я помню, когда проходил, что первый, что второй, я старался одеть костюм джедаев, в них ходить. Но теперь, когда я прошел первую, вот вторую, я вижу, что костюмы-то там сосут. Зачем мне этот геморрой? I am the last of the handmaidens. This is correct. I train so that one day that will no longer be true. I know a little of them, yes. Much Jedi knowledge is stored here. Secrets of their teachings, combat styles, and discipline. The Jedi relics are kept by Atris within the walls of her meditation chamber. Entry is forbidden. Yeah. Most come from Dantooine, brought here before the academy there was destroyed by Malak. Not all relics were able to be saved, but there was not time to rescue them all. I... I have seen a few of them. Yes, they were not always in Atris's meditation chamber. There were many relics, among them small cubes, Warm to the touch, each containing their own light. When held, some would speak, ask strange questions. Galacron. Yes, their questions were confusing. They seemed to think I was someone else, someone's student. I had thought perhaps I had damaged them in some way, but I could not think of what I had done. You may ask. She said, you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is not all she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. Atrus says, when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with him because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the Force.
I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Yes, it is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline reduced to movement and motion. Then her expressed feelings will have to suffice. prove truer than conversing with words. In battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear. These are pure moments of expression. You may ask. <sighs> honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. I do not wish to discuss it. If there is something else you wish to ask, you may do so. There's no need to apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There's no wrong in that. It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. You may ask. Duck. A little of them, yes. Much Jedi knowledge is stored here. Secrets of their... Th Duck. The Jedi relics are kept by Atris within the walls of her meditation chamber. Entry is forbidden. Atris has made her orders on the matter clear. And she says you are no Jedi. Entry to her meditation chamber is forbidden. To even ask shows you doubt my loyalty to her. I have seen a few of them. Yes, they were not always in Atrus's meditation chamber. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Please, I wish to know.
I see. Thank you, Exile. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. Гранаты, как показал Ла практика, нам нужны против огромных вообще друидов. Ну, конечно, там был один. Did you find what you came for? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. Is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students, and this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. Plans are fragile things, and life often dashes expectations to the ground. Perhaps students will come to her in time. For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the Force. Yeah. Very well. Let us depart. He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. Нет, за что извиняться? Не за что извиняться. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. I am, General. 
If you wish, I may travel with you or join you at the ship. Двух членов команды. А вот их и возьму, блядь. If it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Вообще не проснулся. Почему не здесь? Так. Я еще не джедай, она не горит. Так а какого хрена? Где мой световой меч? Мать вашу. А, ну это вообще вангард, да? Oh, you 
три. Хераси. Не, на никто и не может пользоваться. еще раз бегаем why have you approached me do all these women look alike <laughs> not like I'm complaining I mean it's well it's uh, interesting you have returned why You may ask. The mistress? What of her? She is meditating, and she does not wish to be disturbed. Your presence here has troubled her, and I hope you do not choose to trouble her further. Не важно, туда я ухожу. Все. Окей, понятно. Пусть там медитирует. Делай, что хочет. Мне поебать, я пошел. Иди в жопу тогда. Буду сейчас перед ней унижаться, да? Вот вот. Я. Я, блядь, я. То я. Я еще не выспался, блядь. Вот то я. Не выспавшийся. Верста. Так, давай посмотрим, что у нас там за рукоять-то у нас. У нас какая вообще стоит? У нас стоит а... Агринила. У нас это стоит, да? И так, нога. Боже, световые мечи. Но это не судьба. Я не помню, когда вот эта последняя сестра к нам присоединится. Присоединится. Или вообще. Где и должна. Мистрес, the last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. 
left? But why? Her oath. Her reasons are unknown to me. But I fear she may no longer be trusted. We will save her if we can, but we must let her discover the exile's nature for herself. Some evils must be confronted, and isolation from it would have been no defense. Сейчас она увидит, какой мы прекрасный человек. И... Well, now that we're off that Dajaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. What is the machine saying? We seem to have found it. Сейчас будем смотреть, да? Что с нами делали? Do you know why we have called you here? As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malakor that has caused you to see the truth at last? You refuse to hear us. You have shut us out, and so have shut yourself to the galaxy. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Я думал, он, блядь, в него откнул. Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there. More like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path. But he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code and lead all who listen to the dark side, as they did the exile. You are wrong. The dark side is not what I sensed in the exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the dark side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. 
We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is a larger plan back here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. Those are Atris's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Well, we don't want your help. Or any of your sisters. It is just me. And I am doing this because Atris believes you will need help. Tak. Indeed. But of course, what does one more matter to our journey? I have had enough of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. General. The cargo hold is enough. I assure you, there is little I need. I will attend to myself. It is no matter. I am used to worse conditions, but thank you for your kindness. Oba, a čeho on? Jsem by si nějak už kamarád. General, is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but you know that. I don't know, General, but whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. 
Without it, you're not complete. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. Oh, yeah. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside. But it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. Создание стола меча. Вы нашли крепление энергетической батареи для стола меча. Возможно, имея некоторые другие части, вы будете создать обратную стола меч. Окей, здорово вообще. Эй, генерал, ты в порядке? You look like you've been standing too close to one of my shield generators. Was there something you wanted me for? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Yeah. I got tired of it. Kept dropping my hydro spanner. Figured I'd get a new one.
If you were me, you'd probably want to joke about it, too. Actually, it was a souvenir from Malachor. I was lucky I didn't lose more. But at least it gave me something to do, right? Everyone always said I was probably half machine anyway. Something else I can help you with? Yeah. Why did you decide to fight? I felt the same way. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them. To give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. I remember the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? I couldn't do that. It was almost as though the battle took control of me, drove me forward. It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me, turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was there something you wanted me for? Dev. If the Republic would just rein Zerka in, there'd be no problem. But as long as Zerka is allowed to undermine the Athorian's efforts, Telos will remain dead. I can't take seeing my work being used by those bloodsuckers. But there's nothing I can do about it, so let's talk about something else. Something else I can help you with? А что у меня есть вообще из предметов? Оружие. Расходные. Квесты. А вот. Есть батареи, да? С того меча. Есть батарея. Делаем линзу. И, и все, блядь. Время уже заканчивается практически.
А, понятно. How many more do we intend to gather to us? This ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. Do not cloak one word within another. <laughs> friends. Do friends not follow? Do friends not form a hierarchy of their own, no matter how small the circle? too old for friends and when the years settle upon you you will dispense with such words as well no perhaps not or perhaps you are different something more I am not blind I see what they see hear their voices when they speak to you and notice the change when they speak to others I know many things, and I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? They echo you, either fighting or surrendering to their feelings, their loyalty, their duty. Your mere presence serves as an example to them of something to uphold or something to fight against. Watch them carefully, see their patterns, and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. I care not which of the words you use, as long as you make use of that which you forge. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. A discussion, perhaps, for another time. Так, чё, по времени уже всё, так что давай, счастливого тебя дня, всего доброго.